All right, E King Fight News back at it. You all know what it is. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Because Eddie Hearn, y'all want to know this Eddie Hearn update? Apparently, he set the sign three to five big names to his streaming platform, The Zone. More on this. All right, guys, you heard it first. Eddie Hearn called up Boxing Scene, his go to to leak out news that he wants to set wants the media to know about that's what he does he calls up boxing scene and he tells them hey you know we got we need to hear from wilder you know, hey we're about to sign 6 to 8 big names and then another 5 to 10 support group guys that's the wording he said so um I, you know, we already know he signed Gabe Rosado. Um, the other names on that list, few and far between. Uh, when we're talking about big names, American names, you know, the three that come to mind. One of them that seems to want no parts of the PBC stable is Keith Thurman. So I'm expecting Keith Thurman to go ahead and sign with, uh, sign with Eddie Hearn. Have some safe haven over there. <laughs> like that's, I, I, it's just, it's just a personal hunch. Things seem to match up with Keith Thurman in a weird way. Like, like they both happened to be in Japan around the same time. Eddie Hearn and Keith Thurman were were in Japan, so I don't know, man. It's just a guess, but an educated one. Uh, I think Keith Thurman might be one of those names. Uh, you know. Part of that is rumor mill. Part of that could be connecting the dots. So, yeah, Keith Thurman's one. Potentially, uh, another name I've heard about was Danny Gar... Uh, not Danny Garcia. Mikey. Mikey Garcia might be another name. Who else is out there? I mean, if you're talking about $2 million, I think that's a little bit above what Mikey Garcia is probably getting right now. So maybe he would be interested in that. Uh, you know, that Bronner deal... The Adrian Bronner deal that got leaked, according to Eddie Hearn, he's saying, you know what? A lot of fighters are hitting me up now because Adrian Bronner done leaked that shit. So he, almost like he did him a favor because he was never getting Adrian Bronner in the first place. But Adrian Bronner went and advertised for Eddie Hearn what kind of deals he's uh, putting out there. <coughs> so I don't know. I don't know who played who in that situation. I actually don't know. But, um... We're going to see what Eddie Hearn has in store. He supposedly has some uh, announcements coming up. One in June. Basically to announce a stable. That's all it is. And of course, he's going to get more questions about Joshua Wilder than anything else. Because that fight's not made yet. I don't know. Eddie Hearn, he's got some sick satisfaction in keeping fights. Or keeping the fight fans away. From seeing uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, he would rather f get that Russian money. I mean, it is what it is. If if he were to make that fight in the UK, Pavekin Joshua, it is his mandatory, and I don't know. It just feels if it, it doesn't feel right. It feels like it's it's a clear duck fight, and he should really be fighting Deontay Wilder in the United States for $50 million. Like, that's what he should really be doing. But instead, he's, he's on some other shit. So it is what it is. You know, he's, he's, he's protecting... The, you know, the biggest Anthony Joshua protector is this man right here, Eddie Hearn. He's the biggest one. He's the fucking cult leader and shit. And all you, all you brothers that co-signed this dude, man, I feel bad for you. <laughs> I just feel bad for you. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Eddie Hearn has some kind of weird fucking following. Um, and as a promoter, you know, he has sort of risen to the top in, in that UK realm over there. With the built-in fan base of all the fucking British fans. Eddie Hearn has found a way to hook up with Sky Sports and, and do big things, you know. Uh, built up Anthony Joshua into a major attraction over there. Um... 
he had a breakthrough card with Carl Frotch and um, George Groves. So both of those fights really put his promotion over the top, I would say. These dogs just can't stop, man. Hold on a second. All right, so Eddie Hearns. Yeah, he's talking about three to five big names. So who do you think it's going to be? That's the other question. If you're really talking about three to five big names, you should be talking about Jermel Charlo. The word is he got a couple of, of good offers. And the word is the offers were from Eddie Hearn and top rank. So um, Jermel Charlo, potential big name in the middleweight division, uh, definitely has some interest uh, from these promoters out here. Who else is out there, guys? Of course, Errol Spence Jr., the truth. The man that will be heading out uh, in a main event in Dallas in June. He's going to be facing Carlos Ocampo. And, you know, it's a mandatory. It, it'll, it'll be a good fight. I mean, Ocampo, we don't know if he's a world beater. He is undefeated. Uh, and we're going to see if he, if, he's, uh, if he can beat the truth. We're going to find out. So, Truth Earl Spence. I, th I think he should be looking at Demetrius Andrade. That would be a great fight to make. And he could match him up with a, a Daniel Jacobs once that HBO deal is over. Um, who else is out there? If I were Eddie Hearn, I would try and get a piece of uh, Inouye, the monster. I think that would be a good move for him. You want to take my advice? Go after that Inouye. Bring him to the U.S. And uh, try and get a piece of him in that World Boxing Super Series. I'm telling you guys, that, that kid, in a way, he might take it all. Um, who else is out there? Maybe maybe try and get Zelani Tate. Maybe get Sky Sports to cover that Super Series, take it to the next level, and get a piece of that tournament. Because them Bantamweights, I think they're just going to put on some great fights. And it's, it's a good look for the hardcore boxing fans. Uh, and he better talk about that price point for real Because $20 a month is bullshit He's got to figure that one out <coughs> Otherwise guys Let me know what you think Because I'll tell you what Even if he's got 3 to 5 big names I would not pay $20 a month I'll tell you that much right now Unless Unless This is a pay per view quality card he's putting on like, if he's putting on some, some wild-ass shit that could be on pay-per-view, maybe I'd consider it. And try and do some kind of fucking... Like, like maybe I would, just because I'm that, that big of a boxing fan, and I, I would try and watch a fight at all costs. Illegally, legally, whatever the fucking case. So it is what it is, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Eddie Hearns. Apparently he's got some big news in June. Uh, who do you think is on that list of fighters he may or may not uh, consider signing? I know a lot of them are Al Heyman names. Let me know what you think. E-King Fight News, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're on to the next one. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. Back roll. Don't do that, baby. Back roll. Don't do that, baby. Dog, eh? I slapped the shit out of that motherfucker. Touching that random guy. What's wrong with you? Sense weakness. Yeah. They sense weakness. 